Bike Guy Consulting. So I finished the Giant Revolt upgrade and I'm happy with it. I still have to get the carbon wheels to finish that update and I'll uh, post another video on that later on. Um, but essentially I got anxious and wanted to start another project. Um, the gravel bike's great for a lot of mixed conditions. Um, you know, winter's coming around here in Connecticut and uh, I'll still use it on a lot of gravel trails and paths and uh, things like that, but don't really want to be on the road um, with mixed conditions, snow and slush and no shoulders and bad drivers. Um, I have a fat bike and I love getting out on that, but at the end of the day, I spend a lot of time on the indoor trainer. Uh, I'm on Zwift, so you can look me up there. I'm Gus the Bus. And so I do have an old bike that I stick on the trainer and I give it no TLC. Ride it wet, put it, uh, ride it hard, put it away wet. And um, I, uh, I think I want just kind of uh, to give it some TLC, get an update, and actually turn it into a bike that I can use out on the roads. Um, right now, this is what it is. So this is a 2008 BMC Pro Machine, the SLC01. This is a 2008 model. Um, yeah, I originally built it up with Campy Chorus and those uh, Zerium SL wheels that I still love. Um, but just over the years, um, it got stripped and ripped and uh, put back together a little bit. Um, but the biggest problem with this is that I actually cracked the seat tube here. So BMC had a little bit of a problem with this frame design where these two bolts, to really tighten to get the seat post not slipping, you had to tighten it pretty hard. Uh, it was compounded by the fact that there was a sticker on the seat post that said uh, 8 newton meters. And uh, I thought it was for these bolts. It turns out it was not for those bolts. <laughs> these should have been 4 to 5 newton meters, and the 8 newton meters was for the bolt up in the bottom of the seat post. But the sticker was down low, so I was a little confused. But BMC was very, very good. They understood that this was a little bit of a design challenge. The usability wasn't great. So they actually replaced the frame for me. And uh, I was really happy with that. And, uh, and actually, you can see that based on this stem position, this frame was a little bit small for me. So I was actually able to uh, update to a little bigger size and it fit me much nicer. I used that for another, I think, seven or eight years uh, and eventually just sold that a, a couple of years ago. Um, so this kind of ends up being Frankenstein, right? So I call this bike Frankie because it's just a mixture of a ton of different stuff. Uh, out in the back here, you have an Altegra derailleur. You have a nine-speed cassette here on an old Mavic Cosmo wheel set. You have some Campy Centaur. You have Shimano 105 crank set from the year 2000. Um, you have the Xerium SL front wheel. You have one of the original 105 shifters from 2000 for the front. But uh, the right shifter died, the original one, so I had to find something on eBay and just throw on a Tiagra there that I found. Uh, and you can even see when I built this up the last time, I didn't have all the housing I needed. Uh, and one was too short, so I had cable that went to here and uh, had to add another piece and just put another piece of, t of housing on there and taped it together to give it a little bit of uh, structure there. So clearly... Uh, Frankie has been put together in a lab uh, with whatever I had laying around. Now my intentions are to be able to build this up, be able to ride it here in Connecticut uh, as a backup bike. But right now being 50 years old and uh, pre-season and when I'm out of shape, the hills in Connecticut get the better of me. So having a 3953 here isn't great for me. And having uh, just a 25 tooth cassette in the back is uh, not great either. You can even see that I just have some old beater pedals on here uh, because I use this for shooting around the neighborhood too, chasing my uh, my son on his bike and whatnot. So I have SPD on one side, flat on the others if I'm just uh, kind of bumming around. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, some of the 105 that I pulled off that giant Revolt uh, and the Praxis crank sets and throw that on here. And I think some of my challenges here that I'm going to have to go through on this are number one, uh, I want to pair up the Zerium SL rear wheels, but two problems with those right now. You can see there that these ones, <laughs> the, the rear wheel hanging on the wall now, is set up for a campy rear cassette, and I'm going to be putting Shimano on, uh, Shimano on here. Now this actual cassette I have on here is actually the old Mavic M10 cassette, which fits both the Shimano and the Campy Free Hub. So that's great, but this is only nine speed, and it's only a, uh, I think it's a 1225 on there. So I wanna change that up. So I'm gonna to have to go from nine speed on this 
up to 11 speed and I got to worry about my spacing and spacers and and uh, room uh, so that your derailleur doesn't catch in the spokes and does it fit um, things like that so that'll be interesting the next big problem I have is bottom bracket <clears throat> this is a threaded uh, English bottom bracket and I have you know relatively which is a standard that's been around for a very very long time um, it's kind of out of favor in a lot of ways with a lot of bicycle manufacturers so I'm going to be putting that Praxis kind of more modern crank set on there. It's 24 millimeter spindle on the drive side, 22 on the non-drive side. So I'm most likely I'm going to have to end up with a Praxis bottom bracket on that and uh, make sure that all comes together. Um, other than that, it should be relatively straightforward. Um, I'm going to have to kind of look at my position on this because uh, I haven't really fit myself to this bike in many, many years. But it should be kind of an interesting and fun project to get this uh, road worthy for the spring and the trainer through the winter. So stay tuned for uh, the adventures of uh, upgrading this. And I hope you watch those videos. Thanks.